Hi, I'm Anthony Andrew with Arlington ISD, and we know you've got a lot of things going on at home. We know we've got the at-home learning hub in the Arlington ISD that you can do for, for keeping track with your grades and stuff like that and your classwork, but we want to do something a little different, so we started Workout Wednesdays, exercises that our students can do at home, and what better way to do that when they have our outstanding PE teachers here, and that's what we do with Duff Elementary uh, PE teacher Matt Bostick, who's going to walk you through some exercises that you can do at home, outside, just to kind of keep you in shape, keep you going and stuff like that. Something we want to do during this closure and we think it's really great. And Matt, just talk a little bit about how important it is for kids to be able to get out and do stuff. It's absolutely essential. All right, guys, we really want to keep our bodies moving during this time. It keeps our brains fresh. It keeps everything just better. It keeps our hearts moving. It keeps our brains going. Um, and it's really just a great thing to, that we can be doing. We have more than 50 elementary schools. The majority of our students are at elementary age. So this is something you work out with your students every day? Absolutely. Even some of our older kids could make these even more intense by making just a few minor adjustments. But yes, we try and do something quick, intense um, every school day that they come to PE. All right, and before we get into this, what you don't know is obviously you can tell by me looking at me and Matt, I'm the one that gives Matt, you know, his uh, exercise tips and stuff like that just to get them, try to get them to my level. So, all right, without further ado, Matt, why don't you get this started? What are we going to start with? All right, our first exercise today, we're going to do a uh, circuit today. It's going to be four exercises. We're going to try and do three rounds. If we do this um, at a good average pace, it should be about five minutes long. All right. right. And we can modify in there. Our first exercise that we're going to do, now we're going to do the workout eventually just straight through. But we might stop just to talk about some of the exercises. The first exercise we're going to do, something we're all very familiar with, gets our bodies moving in one of the best ways, and that's jumping jacks. All right, I all can right. do this one. All right. we can do that? I can. All right, we're going to start, the workout's going to be 20 jumping jacks. All right, and we can modify these, but the basic jumping jacks, arms at our side, ready, set, and go. Arms up, feet going apart, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. Um, and the key with those is always keeping their arms up high. If your shoulders start hurting or burning, obviously you can bring them down a little bit. Just making sure your feet go out and apart. All right. Okay. All right. Next exercise. Again, something simple we're all familiar with. We're gonna move on to air squats, all right? So we want our feet about shoulder feet, uh, shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. I like to keep my hands at my side. And then first thing I'm gonna do is set my rear end back and then just sit down until my legs are about straight, even with the ground. So down and up. Ooh. Okay. Down and up. All right. You can see Anthony's got some rickety <laughs> knees. Up, uh, down, and, and up. And you now, as I'm watching him, keep go do one more. We want to try and keep those knees behind the toe. We don't want to lean too far forward. That's going to make them hurt more. So what I tell kids is just imagine you're sitting in a chair. Okay. okay. Butt goes back. We sit down on the chair and come back up. Down and is come. Is this back something up. that you do with from first graders on up? We could. Yeah, for sure okay. we do. And you see all sorts of them. Obviously, sixth graders, I'm going to be a little more um, specific on form. Okay. All right. But as we go down, you have to be a little more lenient. All right. My second grade daughter, it's going to look a little bit different than an elite athlete, you know, in sixth grade. Okay. So, so I'm like the first grade. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay. A little bit. But we can, we have room for improvement, right? <laughs> all right. So we're going to do 20 of these, We would do 20 of these. Now we're going to move down. We're going to work a little bit on the upper body. All right. Okay. One of the big things that I'm into is proper push-up form and position. All right. It's one of the best ways that we can um, strengthen all upper bodies and our core, all right? So we can do everything there. So we're gonna go ahead and get down into a plank position. And this is where you have options. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> options are good. Generic plank would be <laughs> arms, again, shoulder width apart. Okay. Fingers spread. Okay. All right. Try and keep those arms straight up and down, supporting your shoulders. Okay. And then we just want to try and hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, I, can, I think I can do that. I think right. you could do that. I think when you got the number, when you said 20 to 30, I think I can handle it. Yeah. When you get a little more, yeah, you know. Yeah. I agree with you. Now, for some of my kids, that maybe that's a little bit too easy. They could obviously extend the time, okay. hold it a little bit longer. Or some of them like to go and bring it down to a low plank. Okay, ooh, I like this and one And you better. can hold it down here. Wait, wait, maybe right. I don't. I think I like the higher plank. It seems, yeah. like, seems a little easier. And then some of them like to just be crazy, and they do what we call a plank walker. And they'll just do up oh, and down. That was a few decades ago. Up and down. <laughs> a few decades ago. So again, ago. we'd hold this for a good solid 20 to 30 seconds. I tell the kids, I want to see a straight line from your head to your hips to your heels. Okay. All right. We don't want those rear ends up in the air or sagging down low. Okay. All right. Okay. So that we did with that one. We're, we're good. Okay. We're good. good. Woo, thank All God. right. We'll hop up. Let the arms out. Now we're going to move back to the ground in just a second. Oh, okay. All right. That's too we're bad. going to move on to mountain climbers. Okay. Okay. And again, we're going to feel that burn a little bit in our shoulders from those planks, but that's good. We're building that strength and endurance. When we get to the mountain climbers, though, now we're really going to work on that core. Okay. Okay. 
I see all sorts of different mountain climbers in the classroom. I'm going to show you what the um, what we, the ideal one would look like and what we would kind of want to work towards. Okay. okay. So again, we'll get in that plank position. And this time, instead of holding it, we're going to be driving our knees towards our chest, alternating back and forth, left to right. So okay. I'm doing it kind of in slow motion. That's fine. That's fine. You can definitely go in slow motion. You definitely can. Well, that feels like fast motion to me. Some but... of my kids, they kind of do a little running. That's okay. Okay. But then your body starts moving up and down. Okay. I teach them that we want to try and keep that toe off the ground okay. whenever we come up. And just so go back. When it kid forth. when the kids exercising, is this something they should be I mean, they're at home a lot of times. Yes. We got the at home learning her like we talked about. We've got all kinds of stuff they can do outside, social distance and all that. But this is something they can do in their living That's room. That's exactly right. You can do this porch, anywhere. Front, your driveway, whatever. Exactly right. Okay. No equipment needed. Minimal space obviously. Okay. So yeah. And totally. how is a is a teacher how often do you want your kids to be able to do something like this every day oh i would try and get something like you need exercise every day okay all right we obviously want to vary it we want to find things we enjoy that keeps us into it right okay but um something like this when you really push yourself and you go hard that could be kind of like your workout for that day okay good right. good 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 so yeah. what around to now all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you one full circuit of our first workout wednesday here we go we're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So then with that, we're going to move on to our 20 air squats. Scoot apart and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And with that, we're gonna move down to our plank. You get to pick high or low. I'm gonna go high this time. 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Next, we'll move on to our mountain climbers. You can shake your arms out a little bit and do 30 of those. Ready? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There we go, one full circuit. We'd want to try and repeat that uh, two more times to complete the workout. This is something we're gonna do. Like I said, this is our workout Wednesday. And what you can do is you can check out our Facebook and our um, AISD.net on the, our blog. We're gonna have what Matt's talking about. We'll have it broken down so you can do this. This is something we're gonna to bring to you for at least the next four weeks because we've got some time and we want you to be healthy. And we've got a great teacher and Matt Bostick. We've got great teachers throughout the district. So. Keep looking forward to more Workout Wednesday. Thanks, Matt, for coming on. You we'll bet. We'll see you on the next one. Awesome.